Hello YouTube and welcome knife enthusiast. Today, today we got a couple new Sativian knives. The first one is going to be the Sativian ST121. Awesome action. Really cool blade shape on this. It's not a spear point. Almost like a bowie. Comment down below if you know the blade shape. G10 handle. But looks like green micarta. Feels like G10. I know it said G10 in the description, but that sure looks like a Micarta almost. No milling on liners. Deep carry pocket clip. Immediately falls on the detent ball. Fuller works very well. Oh yeah, really satisfying spidey flick. Not quite fall shut, but definitely shake shut. Probably will break in. Liner lock and to disengage it is very comfortable. Yeah, I'm really liking the blade shape on this. Definitely like the fuller on it. Feels really good in the hand. I'm gonna have no jipping nowhere. Pretty Thin blade stock. I feel like this be a good slicer. It's not really coming out on the camera, but this it's part of it's like stone washed. The rest of it's like a Almost like a mirror finish, but not quite. Very, very, very pointy though. Extremely pointy. Definitely has really good action though. You know what? I have not been disappointed with the Sativian knife yet. And look, you got the speed holes in it. Just like my giveaway knife for my 100 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Put a mirrored edge on this one. For the winner, my 100 subscriber giveaway. So help me hit 100 subscribers. And the fidget factor on this knife is extremely high. This, so far, this is one of my favorite Sativian knives. The ST131. But we're looking at the ST131. One twenty one. It's kind of strange, it doesn't say on the blade itself. In D two, and the other Sativian knife we have, it's going to be the Sativian ST one sixteen folding knife. 
also in green. And G10, textured, although it's a really smooth texture. Oh, yeah. Really satisfying Spidey Flake. Immediately falls on the detent track. Shake shuddy. Of course, these are brand new, so I'm sure once it breaks in, it will be even more fall shut. This one just feels like a lot larger of a knife. Definitely feels good in the hand. Really like the shape of it. Can really get down good on a cut. Because you can get a lot of blade down on a cut. Even though it has a flipper, just the way it is, you can almost lay it completely flat. Like this one, your hand hits before you can lay it flat. So you're using more up here. Definitely a larger knife, but not by much. Do some size comparisons. Put the Ontario Rat 1 right in the middle here. And the Model 2. You can see they're This one's definitely smaller than the Model 1. These are about the same exact size. That, them really comparable there. And of course, we got to look at the QSP Penguin. See, it's smaller than either of them. So they're both definitely full-size knives. See the weight on them if you're curious about that. This is ounces. So you got 6.18 ounces. Holy cow. That's a big, heavy knife. Pretty much anything over 5 ounces is going to be a big, heavy knife. 4.083. So, for an everyday carry, 4 ounces or less. Man, you can't go wrong with that. So, this one definitely make a good everyday carry. This one you're definitely going to notice in your pocket. Without a doubt. Maybe not. Because it looks like it might carry pretty nice, actually. Well, yeah, most of this is going to be in the back corner of your pocket. So It's a deep carry pocket clip, but they still give you something to grab onto. Same with this one, another deep carry pocket clip, still kind of give you something to grab onto, and you get a linear hole, which this one you do not. Get a solid backspacer though. I prefer a solid backspacer over standoffs. This one you get a backspacer. Almost felt like you could touch the blade right there, but you can't touch it. Awesome blade shape, though, on both of these. Could not be happier with Sativian knives. Both of these are under $30. Which, if you ask me, you can't go wrong with any knife for under $30. Bucks. Let's see if either of these are slicey. Never used either of these, so... Make sure and hit that subscribe button. Oh, 
not bad. Yeah, it's it's definitely sharp. Oh yeah. Nice blade shape. Really like that one. Check out this one, the big guy. Oh, that was unsatisfying. Oh, there we go. That's more satisfying. Oh, it's definitely sharp. Thick, thick blade stock on this. No wonder it's so heavy. If you were going into the woods or something, this might not be a bad knife to take with you. Definitely good solid solid lockup on both of them. Disengagement. It's very easy to get to. Really comfortable. Sometimes a disengagement on a liner lock can be, or even on a frame lock, can be less than comfortable to disengage, but this is very comfortable. You can get these in other colors too. I don't know why, I just really like the OG green. Here's another, oh, this is a Ethan Growl knife, but it's in green micarta. Let's compare the green micarta to this G10. All right, you can definitely see a difference, but not much. For some reason, this G10... There's a lot of characteristics familiar, I don't know, just similar to the Micarta, which this is an awesome, awesome button lock for 30 bucks. Well, let me know which one you like down in the comments. I like them both. For me, it's just hard to pass up a knife with ball bearings in action like this. And I haven't had a Tivian knife that I haven't liked yet, so. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.